The former principal judge Justice James Ogola has urged Busha district political leaders to be transformational and spearhead development through effective community mobilization. While speaking during the Busha District Development Conference held at Makure University, James Ogola advised Busha communities to support the newly elected leaders for effective legislation. We must tap into the export promotion zone at Masaf. That one is a godsend. When it takes off, it'll be like what is he seeing at the uh, industrial area? The uh, Namave. That's my understanding of this thing that it will be a mini Namave. And can you imagine Namave coming to Busia? Busia District Chairman elect Stephen Mugeni Wasike disclosed that the major objective of the meeting was to discuss the plight of Busia community and champion economic independence. We have organized a development conference. We said we have ideas for how we can develop our area Busia. Can we share it with our brothers who are not in Busia? Maybe who are based in Kampala, but they have a big stake in Busia. Can we share those ideas with them? Can we invite them to come and be part and parcel of the development? of our area in Busia. Can we also consult them on what model, how are we going to develop our area? So it's basically looking at how we can develop Busia. And not left to others, but all of us. Because to develop Busia meaningfully, we must all participate. So it's just coming together to see how we can all work on the development of Busia. If it is like looking after the the, hay, the, the chicken and then uh, parking in, the, in that area, participate. If it's about maize, uh, adding value, participate in the production of maize. So how can we participate and also take advantage of these opportunities? Samia Bugwe, South Member of Parliament, elect Godfrey Wede Odero, said the conference was aimed at creating awareness and explore potential areas where Busha community can partner with government. I want also to take this opportunity for today's conference. A worker has already started. This indeed is a, a new beginning for the people of Busia. I want to echo the LC5 elect for having come up with this idea, plus all the elected leaders of Busia district, so that we can come together for the purpose of service delivery in our district. The State Minister for East African Affairs, also a son from the district, Julius Maganda Wandera, said the government is providing an enabling environment for the private sector and advised the Busha community to take advantage of the East African integration. He has given a portfolio of a single tourist window. The single tourism window allows a person who is visiting East Africa as a tourist to pay, even if he pays from Tanzania, Uganda also benefits as much as that person would wish to visit Uganda. He doesn't have to come again in Uganda and pay. Now, for you, the benefits that you will have as a person who has already a hotel which is established and it would attract uh, tourists is to put up an infrastructure of that nature so that people come and sleep, people come and eat, and even have fun around the, the, the district. Anyway. So these are some of the facilities that we should be talking of. How much prepared are we as a district? Do we have that having? Does the district prepare even where it could, in case there's an investor coming out, to seek for land to put up a very big hotel? Does the district have that facility? Maybe under the, the Department of Lands, do we have land as a district? Does the district, as we people of Busia, as a community, have we attempted to come together and say, yes, we could do this if we come together? Or we think in being at individual level, but you are not able even to put something that will really attract people to come and sleep in. So these are some of the questions that we need to ask ourselves. Good enough, this is the first interface we are having. Probably in the next interface, we may come out with even some of the answers then, and so that we can be able to help our people come out. But the most important thing is the East African community has already developed policies 
good enough adults have spoken on the preambles that I have spoken about. But if you look at the aspect of even the way how people do trade, the way how academicians also now are interfacing with the other type side of Kenya, or even in Rwanda, the way how the technical people, the architects, we have already developed the, 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 what we call the mutual recognition agreements. A lawyer in Uganda now can go and practice in Kenya under the mutual recognition agreements. You still to be there. You read from Kenya, you're in Uganda, you have to come back and uh, practice from Uganda because you are not a native. The Makere University, Vice Chancellor, also a son of the soil, Professor Banabas Nawangwe, raised the concern of poor academic performance in the district and called for intervention. And not even all those who have completed go to the secondary school. Half of them drop out. So by the time they reach the level of going to universities and other tertiary institutions, out of the two million, you have only 60,000 currently. So where are the others? So there is a problem, but it is a national problem. So he's very right, we need to change the curriculum, and at Makere we are trying to emphasize that, so that the students who live here are not looking for jobs, but looking for opportunities to work. If China had waited for jobs with their one billion people, would they be where they are?